Hey, 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 this is Chris from Don't Let Them Burn. Welcome to the program. This is Spirit Behind the Music, another exciting episode that we're going to be covering. Ye or yay, however he says it, Kanye West. Um, but before that, just don't forget to uh, check us out if this is your first time on uh, don'tletthemburn.com. Also, please subscribe to my Rumble channel. I get to put up videos there that I can't put on YouTube. Um, check out my Twitter. That's very uh, popular right now. As far as like, I'm put up, putting up a lot of content there, but I've put up more content in my Telegram. Okay, I share resources, videos, documentaries, all the stuff that you, you, you want as a resource for yourself. And I even give encouragement once in a while. So check, check us out there. And um, also check out my friend here, William Ramsey. How you doing? I'm doing great, Chris. Great to be with you, Ken. Oh, yeah. Glad to have you, man. Um, so also, I'll tell people how to find you before we um, get to the end of the program here. <laughs> well, I initially started out as an author. I published my first book in 2010. So I have five books now. They're available on Amazon. I have five documentaries you can view on Vimeo. And then I have a podcast that kind of grew out of uh, writing books and talking to authors and that's titled William Ramsey investigates so it's kind of like an investigative journalist uh, program independent non non-partisan uh, yeah. so uh, yeah. I have a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff with you actually as a matter of fact so oh yeah definitely we have check out least, our old stuff there. yeah we have at least six programs um, so, yeah. you guys need to go and check those out all uh, everyone is different and covering major topics like smiley face killers and Alistair Crowley and stuff like that. Um, so we did one on Schwab, didn't we do Schwab? Yes, yes. 19, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, guys, uh, you know, it's going to be some heavy stuff here. So, uh, like the last one we did on the Balenciaga, you know, Bale, Enciaga, right? So, um, and, it, and it overlaps, right? So, I have stuff with Kanye and Balenciaga. So, yeah. People be warned. We're gonna talk about human blood drinking too and stuff like that. So yeah. So, crazy. if you have a soft heart, this isn't for you. Yeah. Can't don't know what to tell you. But um, so, what we're dealing with here is an occult operation um, in the underground of Hollywood and entertainment industry. Period. Right. So I'll let William um, lead us here as we go into some slides. Unless you want to do a little short intro about what we're about to speak about. Well, just Kanye West is a very interesting fig figure, very influential, was in the news recently. Uh, he had made some very questionable decisions talking about anti-Semitism and his experience with that. And uh, so he was definitely at the top of the news cycle and was on a lot of different shows talking to people. So I thought it was important to kind of go back and look at his whole the arc of his life. He's had a very fascinating uh, financially successful, culturally successful life. And I think that he has a lot of ties to other people that are in the news. And uh, and a lot of this that overlaps with the high fashion. He has a high fashion experience. He has this Yeezy and he was has marketed his fashion through, I think it was Adidas. So yeah. he, uh, and was a billionaire. Like that. that's quite an accomplishment. Right. Uh, I don't know where he's at today, but I do think he is kind of like uh captures the zeitgeist and had a lot of stuff and he's made this arc from kind of a new found guy to rockefeller records definitely had knows more about the occult maybe than is published and is now a christian at least uh, his version of christianity that's another investigation yeah. which maybe we can talk about today but uh i do think he's an interesting character the more i looked into him the more interesting he became to me so i think it's it's worthwhile just kind of looking at his background and his, his experiences. Right. Uh, and, and for those that don't know, he started um, on his own and he, he started to like intern and whatnot. But anyway, long story short, he, he hooked up with Jay-Z and from there on his career blew up. So um, he's, he's one of the biggest hip hop stars, period, in our modern time, if, if not the biggest. Right, because it, it expands into like we like we said a minute ago, it expands into fashion and all sorts of stuff. So he is like the the premier. Uh, he's gone places that a lot of even well known rappers have not gone, especially since he um, controlled a lot of his um, IP. Uh, so he knows the business well. So anyway, I want to show you guys this this um, this photo I, I had of, of, on my show back in 20 
2016, 2015 of one of his um, promotional um, artworks from the album at that time. I can't remember the name of the album. I, don't, I didn't follow Kanye West that much. But this was, this was a time when he really started to call himself a god and, and uh, really blasphemous stuff coming out of him. Um, give me a second here. And I do have a video of that too. I think it's titled "I Am a God." It's a video of him making that claim. If it's if you're able to play it, but uh, yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, there's some pictures too in the slideshow of upside down crosses. He has the double he, uh, cross, which is familiar with like some occult groups. He's with like three witches sitting next to somebody on a throne with yeah. red hands, like very dark, heavy duty stuff. Yeah. This one, can you see it? Can you see this one? I do know, yeah. That's the one, exactly the one I was mentioning. So yeah, yeah, it. yeah. So for those that don't know, the the the, the Jesus thing is is he's comparing himself to Jesus, and this is old, you know. And I know people are going, but they didn't even become a Christian. Well, we're going to f- figure out if he really is, as we did in, the, in one of the last programs. So here we have um, this kind of like uh, mocking mockery of Jesus um, in sitting down there with a bunch of demonic vampiric looking women around him so um again this is the time of, of, of the of height of his career when he was just going full-blown pagan i'm a god or whatever um, and that's his designer so that's uh, Re- uh tishi is his last name he's from italy t-i-s-c-h-i and you'll see a lot of him in my slideshow or the slides that i put together but he uh his his biggest influence on this guy Tishi is Marina Abramovich, who mm-hmm. shows up in the Podesta emails, and she shows up all over the place. She did a video recently or a advertisement for Microsoft, which people like really went berserk. The fact I think they actually took that advertisement down. Like, what do you have that witch on there? This blood ritual witch, and she's done some incredible stuff. There's videos of her doing literal sex magic, like uh, yeah. very very graphic. Like I don't even want to go into it, but. Right, right. She she's really kind of like a real new world order r- witch is what I would call her. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna. We'll go. see pictures of him and her. And right. I'm, I'm gonna switch yeah. over now to the okay. the um, slideshow we have here. Um, One of the interesting things too is about uh, Kanye's background is that he was married to everybody knows this Kim Kardashian who's probably like one of the most influential TV shows or whatever. So he's he's a public figure, like his, even just through his wife. Yeah, yeah. So here we have him with um, uh, Robin I'll let you Williams. Explain. Robin Williams. Yeah, They're making that magic sign. He's clearly younger there too, I think. Yes, yes, definitely. And you know, the funny thing is, um, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, Rihanna, when she just just did the Super Bowl halftime show, they they didn't show all of the the performance the, the last part she held up the same sign which people are like oh it's a rock nation sign actually no it goes back further than rock nation they adopted it from pagan culture if you want to explain that a little bit yeah it's like the eye in the triangle sign and it's a magical symbol so the triangle up so yeah it goes back through crowley and uh, the golden dawn so they just have adopted all this in a lot of these same kind of the physical gestures, which you'll see kind of the left eye and the sign of silence and all these other kind of occult religious gestures. This is just one of them. Right. But yeah. Yeah. And um, like you said before, the eye, the, if you look at um, depictions of the eye of Horus, it's it's in a triangle a lot of times. Um, not every time, but a lot of times in a triangle. Uh, also, Tulsi Gabbard does the same thing in her earth worship ceremonies. Um, and there's mm-hmm. photos of that on the internet if you want to go look, if you don't believe me. Um, and just to wax political for two seconds, uh, I don't trust her at all <laughs> as, a, as a political candidate because she is a World Economic Forum member. Um, and um, she, she backed away from the Democratic Party based on how radical they're getting. But don't think that this woman is not a communist. She's a straight-up communist. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> as we move... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, there's. I mean, I I can send you that picture. She's definitely making these these like illumined, you know, hand gestures, in yeah. front of the Capitol building, no less, from yeah. the Capitol of DC. Yeah, I'll send mm-hmm. that to you. Maybe you want to show that. Um. Yeah. Oh, you you send it in the chat. 
Uh, yeah, let me see if I can pull it up in the chat. Okay. Yeah, so we're just scratching the surface now, guys. Um, share the, share the link, hit the like button, and um, you know, invite some people. Get in here. And if you have a question for William, please put in the super chat if you can. Um, he'll answer your questions. And please, if you're asking a question, please pay, stay on topic. Tulsi Magic. Yeah. So I'm uploading it now. Okay. Let's see if you can pull that up. Yeah, let me see here. I think I'm able to. Am I, I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm able to share this. Um, I might have to. Maybe you can download it or like oh, no. screenshot it and upload it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, while I do this, go ahead and um, speak a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, like the background is interesting. And I think the intro I have to his thing that came up recently within the last, I don't know, six months or something was this. He kind of went public and said this guy that had been his handler slash uh advisor was kind of a mk ultra doctor and he put out this his name was harley pasternak and he made public statements about him and he showed uh kanye showed the screenshot shot saying hey you uh from pasternak saying you better get in line or else i'm going to drug you again which was pretty intense and that my understanding is that in the past kanye west had been under heavy medication and, and uh still in the care of a psychiatrist or a psychologist or something like that. So uh, it would make sense that he would have that. So I think that that would kind of led me down the path to trying to figure out who this guy Harley Pasternak was. People have traced him back to behavioral psycho psychology uh, university in Canada. And then he also had a lot of other celebrities, a lot of other people that he was supposedly in the role of a, um, he was in the role of a, you know, exercise coach or fitness coach or something like that. So it is interesting that he had, this guy Pasternak had so many contacts in Hollywood and other people at room. I think it was Jay Dyer was saying a lot of these guys do have kind of MK ultra or whatever hand behavioral handlers. And this would just be proof of that actually being the truth. So, um, It's interesting. You kind of, it's kind of an uh, insight into kind of really. Okay. Looks I thought like, that was um, interesting. I thought that was an interesting okay. aspect of Kanye's story. But yeah. that's in the slides, which I haven't. Right. Chris is not brought up yet, but I mean, we can try to get it up. But I just sent you the Gabbard stuff. Okay. About to get into that right now. Gmail. All right. So, yeah, I'm downloading it right now. So, yeah, so that's it. So that's this guy, Pasternak. That's interesting. And I think he said something about, uh, Kanye said something about Pasternak on another show. And I think I have, I think Chris has that video. So if Chris wants to pull that up, he can pull that up. Yeah, I'll be putting that up in a second. Or, uh, I can't hear you. I don't know. You can't hear me? I think it's coming. Is it coming through? Yeah, I hear you now. Hear you. All right. Okay. All right. So let me get back on track here. With um. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just we're learning this program here. <laughs> all right. So as we move, let me try to get this Tulsi up here. Um. There we go. That's the. That's not see something of it. So that's the. Those are the slides. All right. Okay. Those were right, something about... that he was. Uh, he was putting out like it was from Yay late last year. But this was another guy. It was like Scooter Braun is another kind of, very influential in music. Many speak of his dark side as their ruthless be ruthless be his this manners or more to this. That was just somebody commenting on uh on Twitter. Okay. All right, so yeah, can you go to the next slide? 
Yeah. There, there we go. And then, so Ye was on this guy, Lex Fridman. Who does he like? This is another figure. He liked David Simon. So that was him. These are just things that uh, Kanye had posted. Yeah. A little, little um, nuggets. Can we go to the next one? There we go, Scooter. That's Scooter Braun. I guess he was uh, very influential, influential in Justin Bieber's career. Oh, uh, yeah, because his face looks familiar. So maybe he's kind of in the same role as uh, this guy Pasternak. And there we go with um, from the Insider. See it? Yeah, it says, but Taylor Swift isn't the only person who's seen his dark side. So go to the go to the next one, and I think one of the Pasternak's statements here. Here it is. So this was supposedly a text sent by Kanye, sent by Pasternak to Kanye, and says, "I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words, and everything that is discussed is based in fact and not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you, or you saw in a tweet." Second option, I have you institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. So that's a threat. Yeah. That's and, this is, and this is sent to Kanye, right? Hello? Correct. That's what yeah. Kanye sent. And then published it. Like, I don't think this guy Harley, if it was really sent, really anticipated this going public. A lot of this stuff right. went public. <laughs> right, yeah. All right, so, so this is from his website, Celebrity Trainer and Nutritionist. But I think what people said is that his his background, he was from Toronto, but the school that he went to was also known as kind of like a psych, psychological behavioral training school as well. Okay. All right, so let me... Um... Well, it, that, I guess that would make sense. It had some kind of reference to these old things. Yeah, it would make sense because um, I forgot where he went. These guys, it was the University of Toronto, the Department of National Defense. Hmm. That's where he was going to school. So it's a it supports the Canadian Armed Forces. Hmm. It's the Dang. Defense and Civil Institute for Environmental Medicine from two thousand five to two thousand seven. Okay. Uh, he, okay, he was in he was in some films. Okay, got gotcha. you. All right. So here's the next slide here. Oh, so he's yeah he's 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 with some big wigs here. Uh -huh. He's just all over with all these other celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go to the next and one? He, I think he wrote somewhere, according to his Wikipedia page, he said that Kanye West had been drugged out of his mind to make him a manageable, well behaved celebrity. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. it's it's um that it's like a conservatorship, like with Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. It, it almost feels like that, yeah. It's it's a perfect way to characterize it. So here's um his website, right? With all these celebrities. Same group. Right, and you just see the client list. It's just a who's who of Hollywood. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's starting to make a lot of sense because some of these people, you wonder why they act like they act. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying he's the only reason, but it, it's, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, look at all these celebrities. And if you go back through all that, like, doesn't somebody who's investing in these celebrities want to make sure that they're they toe the line? Yeah. So yeah. if these businesses or big um, entertainment firms or whatever, they want to make sure they're not doing drugs or not acting like jerks or whatever. So they maybe they have some guy behind them. Right. And you know Robert Downey Jr. He did um, Alistair Crowley ritual to get the the mat the the part of Iron Man. I didn't know that. Wow. Nothing no. would surprise me. Nothing about any of these people. Some of them have passed away from drug overdoses. Yeah. Um, some of those people, yeah. 
All right. Uh, I think Mac Miller pass is already gone. All right. So, goodness gracious, man. <laughs> but yeah, just I think it's just a kind of a who's who you can go through on that. What's yeah. that? No, no, no. I was saying goodness gracious because um, every t- page I turn, it's you know it's people I d- didn't suspect and others that I already did. Wow, man. Yeah, it's a lot of people. That's on his website. This is just his website. Yeah. Okay, so here we go with the MK Ultra. So this uh, one says MK Ultra exposed by Kanye West, now known as Yee. And and can you explain MK Ultra? Really His quick? quote here is: "What know. should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth." Regardless of the consequences. So I say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. Hmm. So can you explain uh, short, briefly MK Ultra for people that don't know in the audience? Well, it's a pretty broad term, but it was a study that was under, you know, taken by the CIA. It was almost kind of like a Manhattan Project, really, because they took all their kind of this huge amount of funds at the time in the 50s and distributed through universities and kind of not NGOs and did all kinds of different studies. There was 149 sub subsets or whatever, where they went in and just drugs and behavioral control and social control. And really the, the whole goal was to create pliable populace is really it. So some people say it was just about creating a mind control assassin. There was other things there were, that was involved, but it was really much broader than that. Right, right, right. And involved tons of research. So yeah. I think the term is used very broadly. Yeah. But really, I think, you know, if you are a sophisticated psychologist, you probably know how to do behavioral control and, you know, how to keep people in line, et cetera, is my guess. Right. I, I think it also do- dovetails into Operation Mockingbird, but that's a whole other show. Yeah. So here it goes. So. And somebody who kind of had a Pasternak-like life is early Uri Geller, mm. who was also kind of a guy who was into spoon bending and... Right. Uh, considered to be an intelligence asset and was handling and friends with all kinds of celebrities. Yeah. So you see the next slide up there? Yeah, you can just go to the next slide. Next one? All right. Um, it said something here about J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Uh, okay, pass that one now. YouTube comments? Yeah. This was uh, somebody saying Kanye's art. Somebody left this to me on uh, StreamYard. He says his designer mogul is Axel Ver Vort, the guy who's on the Dutro X Files list, which is pretty remarkable. Okay. Dutro was kind of like involved in a very dark female, you know, sex ring, child underage pedophile sex ring. Which kind of ties into Balenciaga, actually. Some of the was it Bormans, who's from, who's from Belgium or whatever. So. Okay, uh, I'll go to the next one. Watch the Throne. Oh, that's a that's the name of his album. Yeah, sure. And this is Watch the Throne. I think you were talking about this is one of his earlier albums. Yeah, yeah. That's when he started to go, get a little bit more darker and whatnot. Um, and the music videos. Oh my goodness, the music videos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this one. And so this was kind of one. Maybe you mentioned that where they were dressing up with like animal themes. Yeah. Jay Z. And um, the uh, I forgot the, the technical term. You can for go to the next one. Yeah, I, I just wanted to explain something real quick about um, man turning into beast. Um, oh, I forgot a technical term for this man. Uh, anyway, um, this is a very occult practice. Um, 
in, in witchcraft, trying to get you to turn into animals and whatnot. And it's usually um, follows demon possession, for those that don't know. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, and there's all kinds of weird pictures of these people, like, dressed up in, you know, furry outfits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a, somebody who we'll see in a lot of these pictures. That's Marina Abramovich. She's mentioned in the Podesta emails. She's uh, into spirit cooking, and that's her with Lady Gaga and some other guy. I don't know who it is. Okay. And for those and that don't know. with <laughs> Kanye West yeah. and Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, Lady Gaga is a Satanist. Heavy into rituals and just doing a whole bunch of satanic stuff, meat suits, and ugh. anyway. <laughs> so here we go with this thing. Yeah, this it's pretty dark. What's the, what's the symbolism there with the... Right, so that's Abramovich with... Um, what's his name? I don't know. I forgot his name, man. He's a, he's a satanist, too. Franco. James yeah, Franco. Franco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Franco, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Let me try to... Um, you can go to the next one. He pops up with her a lot. So that's Tishi, and these are one of the girls that was featured in the Balenciaga stuff we went through. The first picture was this girl on the right. Yeah. So you can go to the next one. There you go. And there's Tishi with Abramovich and some other care. I think that's Nicki Minaj, um, J Lo. What's that? Uh, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and I think that's J Lo right next to her. If I'm not mistaken, it looks just like her. Hmm. Could be wrong. Wouldn't surprise me. So this guy's totally network networked. And that's him with Abramovich. And there were pictures that I lost. They must be in some of my old files, but he did some heavy-duty ritual magic stuff with candles and people in cloaks and stuff. Well, at least that was the theme that he had, so yeah. I have to just find it. All right, here we go. And I took those pictures of him back during Pizzagate, so this was super long. It was like... Seven or eight, seven or six years ago. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, just a real quick explanation, uh, guys. This is from 219, and it reads Ricardo Tishi. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, um, uh, you're listening to this through YouTube, huh? There's a delay. Go ahead. <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to say for, he mentioned Pizza, Pizzagate. It's a, it was a big thing, and the, yeah, media, the media tried to. Um, cover it up as a as some sort of um, conspiracy hoax, but it, it's real. Go ahead. So Ricardo Tishi. Next slide, or are you going to talk about this? Can you hear me? Yeah, I mean, it's not coming through. You're not coming through the Eve Mux part, so I have to follow you on YouTube. Okay. All right, so can you hear me now? I'm trying to see if we need to go to the next slide. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you fine, but on YouTube. Okay. Can you go back to Eve Mux and... and, and uh have the audio go through there uh yeah i mean if you're logged in it should you yeah, should be hearing me fine me. i'm not sure why it's not um why you can't hear right, me but it's not it's not this, this funny oh boy oh. anyway so this is this is tishi with a younger kanye okay uh-oh I think we might have lost William there for a second. Uh, okay, so let's go like this. Uh, looks like he dropped out for a second. Yeah, he, well, he's coming back. 
There we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think it might have okay, been. Now I'm back. No, I'm back. I just had to reload it. Okay. So that's T. She and this girl. Um, I can't remember her name, but that was the girl from the Balenciaga. So Bella yeah. Hadid. Yeah. So these guys are all connected. So this ties right into the whole Balenciaga scandal, the Kanye stuff. Yeah. They're the same actors, and that's um, P. Diddy with. That girl's tied into Epstein, right? Yeah. Uh, what's her name? It's Naomi Campbell and Tishi. Yes, yes. So all these people are operating in the same... These scandals all come together, right? Epstein, Balenciaga, and Kanye. They really do. They really do. Yeah. It shows you. It's like, like a big club, man. <laughs> it's a big club. Yeah. So there's the smiley face theme, right? So that pops into this whole thing, ties into the smiley face killers. That's Tishi again. Yeah, and for those that um, don't know about the smiley face killers, we, um, me and Will did a um, a video on it. So you want to check my YouTube channel for that. Yeah, and that's their symbol. So it's like uh, the smiley face symbolizes like the crew uh, smiling through tragedy, things like that. It has its own kind of ideas. And there's another picture: Tishi, Rihanna. Right, who you mentioned making the magical sign and and Kanye, so yeah. at least you can see not just the ideological similarities, but these people are comfortable with each other, like they're hugging and hanging out. So this is just what the pictures say. Yeah. There's Marina Abramovich again. So that's from that's Tishi's thing. My mother inspiration. That's what he talks about or how he talks about it. Yeah. And, and he, there's uh, your yeah, there's your animal, you know, symbolism with he's got red hands and a in a bathtub. Like I don't that's fourteen thousand six hundred and eighteen likes. Like Yeah. Whoa. Like he's a butcher or something, but obviously it's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh and the and he says go vegetarian there in the in the in his little comment there. He says it's Halloween dress up. And there is Abramovich with Kardashian, so mm -hmm. they know each other. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. And that's that picture again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that symbol on his arm looks like something that connects to shamanism. It's called like the double cross cross. It's, it has some occult meaning. It's used by the Temple of Psychic Youth and other organizations. There's that same double cross imagery on the um, satanic symbol for the Church of Satan, if you look at that. Yeah. Here we go with Jay-Z. So this is the Jay-Z Rockefeller era. That's 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Here's the symbolism. Yeah. Is this the one when he came out talking about he sold his soul for a Happy Meal? Yeah, I think I have a video of that. Okay. Where he was just kind of acting crazy. Yeah. You uh, see the kind of high fashion symbolism. Right. And the Kanye West is laid out as a cross. This, yeah. this, this guy thinks, you know, I don't know what he thinks now, but definitely then he was really mocking Jesus. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, this video. I remember this one. Uh, he had the glowing red, uh, the glowing uh, eyes like raw. There he goes with the Egyptian symbolism. There's so much to talk about in this one. It's it'll take forever, but um, you have fallen angels. You have you know the, uh, the halo. The halo. Yeah. The sword in the circle. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Horse face so oh the cult of personality all right so this, this, yeah this is where he became kind of like a christian coachella 2019 yeah you know and this uh i don't know if you have it in the slide but at coachella that year his whole stage was set up like the eye of horse how can you promote jesus so so uh, so so to speak, and 
promote the Eye of Horus at the same time. The whole stage went from the sky to the high, Eye of Horus. So it was totally a cult ritual. An occult ritual. I haven't seen that. I have not seen that. I would like to see it, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is um, 2021 when he, this is after he put out his album. And um, as, as it started to dip a little bit, then they had this, this um, Sunday service and with a Satanist, <laughs> Marilyn Manson and, and then Justin Bieber, who goes to the Hillsong Church, which people can make up their mind about that if it's real or not. But uh, this is just um, a trifecta of confusion. Yeah. Very confusing, super confusing, and like, I don't know. I don't know if Marilyn Manson's really come clean or what his deal is, but he's been involved in so much Satanism and stuff like that. Like, yeah, very curious. Yeah, same, same place here. Um, I wonder if people actually buy those boots. You look like you're about to go walk in mud or doo doo. <laughs> Yeah, they look like somebody who'd be working in uh, like a pigsty or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Are those supposed to be high fashion? He probably sells those for five hundred bucks a pop, huh? I know, right? <laughs> mm. Oh, the stuff people buy, man. So there goes Justin Bieber doing uh, what a lead group prayer. You know, you just know because <laughs> Marilyn Manson must be like um, squibbing in his, his uh, you know, <laughs> in his pants. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's weird. That's, uh, who's he with? One of the Kardashians, I think. Um, not sure. I don't know too much about those. I think guys. that's one of the sisters, you know. I think awesome. so. You can go to the next one. Yeah. And these are just a whole series of him making all his hand gestures. Yeah. The magic sign, the, you know, sign of silence, the... 666 sign. He's definitely at one point that's what he was doing. That's all he was doing. He must have just passed through that phase. Yeah. Because he was um heavily promoting rock, rock a fellow record, rock nation, whatever it was at the time. Right. And right. so, you know, they adopted that symbol. So here we go again. Yeah, you can just click through these easier. This is just yeah. oh, over and over. it's no mistake. Right, right, right. This is yeah. like he's doing something deliberate. Yes. And if you just came in, we talked about the symbol earlier. It's related to the Eye of Horus, um, the, the pyramids, um, all C and I and all that. So uh, this is Jay-Z's album cover. I remember this one. Um, yeah, there you go. And Jay-Z follows Aleister Crowley. Um, right. He has that do, famous Do What Thou Wilt shirt. Right. And there we go, the same symbol there on his chest. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of secret message in there. And if you're not initiated, you wouldn't know. Yeah. There they are all are together. Tishi, Abramovich, Kardashian. Mm -hmm. And for those, again, that don't know who Abramovich is, heavy into the occult, Satanism, um, spirit, uh, cooking, she has yeah. in some of her place. She has a go a golem or golem, however you want to pronounce that, with blood on it. And a, a golem is a Jewish statue where you call up a spirit into it. So she's heavy, heavy into this stuff. Heavy. She said in her own biography, she would go into like this haunted closet as a kid and try to communicate with spirits. So that she's a she's into just the total opposite of biblical stuff. Absolutely. Communicating with spirits, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So that's the eye in the triangle kind of symbol. Mm -hmm. so the, the, I'm a creative genius. There's no other way to word it. That's what he says about himself. Yeah. So the hand over the eye thing. And this one is definitely on purpose. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, and, 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 you know, Jay-Z, I mean, people don't realize how wicked he is, man. <laughs> he's, he's also into the, um, what do you call it, 5% of movie, movement, movement. <clears throat> um, What's that? It's a, it's a, it's a offshoot of Islam, um, mm -hmm. the nation of Islam. 
um, Malcolm X and Clarence X were buddies, and Clarence X had theological issues with Malcolm X, so he broke off and made his own thing, and um, it was called a 5% movement, and um, it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, math and knowledge of self, which is really, you can become a god or whatnot, you know? And there's more to it, but it's a, it's a, it's a cult within the hip-hop. It's just like a black nationalist thing, right? Yeah. There goes the I thing again. And apparently this is some kind of face gesture. It's a mocking tongue is a symbol of lust or sex magic stemming from the fallen angels who lusted over the women of the earth creating the abomination is what somebody wrote. So I think that that's, that's deliberate too. Wow. Yeah, it goes back to Shiva as well, right? Yeah, something like that, yeah. So he knows all that stuff. This is kind of one of his anti-Jewish things. Oh. When I wake up, I'm going Death Con 3. Oh. Yeah, you, you know, it's, it's, it's like touchy to talk about what he's actually talking about, you know? Because uh, there's an element of truth to some of it. Um, but he just he just went the wrong way about exposing it. There's him with Tishi again. What in the world is on his shirt? Oh yeah, dude, gosh, some man. kind of gay thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's just nasty. Rama Vish again. The snake. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rumor was these two were gay lovers. I, I heard that rumor. I don't know if I can, I can't verify it. But yeah, look at all these rumors. All of me, rumors, every... rumors. But they spend. There's. A, you're obviously spending a lot of time together. Yeah. yeah. Uh... And that's a part of the ritual too. Um, if it's if it's true, it's a part of the ritual um, where you you have to sodomize um, people or kids or whatever. You know. Right. There he is with Abramovich. Yeah. And the fact that he's just rubbing shoulders with these high occultists is... is <laughs> yeah. She's probably in the top 10 highest occultists in the world, just with all of her connections and everything she's done. She's hanging out with the Hatai celebrities, politicians. She just pops up in strange places, man. It's incredible. Yeah. I've seen a picture of her with something called the Matri Matreya, which is what the... New, New Agers age. call the kind of what the Christians would call it Christ. Right. So yeah. she's and she knows all that stuff. Very yeah. familiar. Oh, um, guys, you need to read the book called um, "Hidden Dangers of the Rainbow." It explains the Maitreya. Um, it's very succinct. It's written by a, a lawyer that didn't believe it all existed, and then you know, the, she started. Um, me, me we're up in shoulder with new agers and then she she investigated the whole thing you need to read that book like asap yeah it's i think it's easy it's easy to find it's around yeah it's just like tons of pics oh so kanye knew what he was getting into with he kanye. knew he had to know, know at one time there's pictures of him too with her i think yeah, yeah. go on past that that's james franco yeah. yeah, so this is something he responds. It says, Kanye responds, yeah, that could be cool, but I'm like Marina Abramovich. This is like performance art. So he directly knows her. Yeah. Or knew her or knew about her. And for, the, for, for, for you guys that haven't seen her performance art, it's gross, okay? I'm talking about cannibalism and all sorts of stuff, okay? Bones, blood, downward facing pentagrams, the whole bit. Yeah. Body cakes. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff like fake yeah. body cakes. Like, who knows what they do behind doors? Like, who knows? Right. This oh is, yeah, I remember this. This is yeah, blasphemy. Now, now I'll 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 tell you one thing about this book though. Um, Kanye is not the one that came up with it. It was a it was a fan that wrote hmm. that rewrote certain biblical passages to call to to put Jesus there instead of Jesus and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay, so this one, this one is, this one needs to be talked about. So, 
this is not a Nazi symbol, guys. The swastika is it was taken from like um, Eastern mysticism, um, but uh, so this is this is really a symbol of the Relian cult. They worship aliens and stuff, and that's their symbol. It wasn't like a symbol to, to um, go against like uh, Jews or whatnot. It's a it, and and what's his name? Um, Elon Musk. He's an honorary member of the Relian cult. Really? Wow. I didn't yeah. Know. Yeah. And wow. so this symbol this symbolizes. I don't. I'm not sure what um, Kanye was trying to say by putting it out. But I'm telling you, this is um, not a Nazi symbol. Right, but I would say it's pretty easy to misinterpret. Yes, like, yes, yes. when you fuse uh, Star of David with a swastika, it doesn't yeah. look good. But it definitely was used by the Raelians, yeah. which I think the, even the founder of the Raelian cult admitted that it was uh, that he was a cult leader. I have to go back and look like he said something really brazen, like, "Yeah, of course this is a joke." But uh, all he had to do, like his philosophy was, "I need to find one in a thousand people." So he would dress up in this ridiculous thing, almost like what they were wearing earlier, like Kanye was wearing earlier, but like an all-white thing. And then he, all he was looking for was one in a thousand who would follow him and give him money. Like he was just a scoundrel, just like yeah. all other cult leaders. Right, right. Yeah. 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 All right. So um, that's the imagery from a Kanye concert, the full-on triangle, right? Yeah, pyramid, um, and of course he's dancing with it. Now the the right side up pyramid is the male deity, and the upside down is the female deity. For those that don't know. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's Kanye with the pyramid rings or whatever. Yeah. Like he definitely went through some kind of a cult phase or something. Yeah, because a lot yeah. of um. A lot of um, black people are, they gravitate towards e Egypt. So, um, you know, the symbolism makes sense because they believe that all of Egypt was black and all this stuff, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> and there were only two black pharaohs that I know of, and both of those invaded Egypt. So uh, Egypt was a multicultural place um, in the sense of skin color or whatnot, and people would migrate there from other lands. But anyway... I, I didn't have these pictures in perfect order. I should have put that one earlier, but okay. that's just him. Yeah. I think we saw this one already. I think I already put that one in there. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. This, this... yeah. Do you want to talk about that one? Uh, I'm, I'm hearing that it, it comes from the black eye, comes from when you've sodomized a kid. Or if, it, if you see it on the kids, then it's, it's the, the blood, something with the trauma from the blood makes their eyes black. Not sure how true it is. I've but... heard, I've heard that they get punched into some kind of like uh, initiation. Everybody gets a really hard punch in the eye. Ah. So you'll see all these guys in Hollywood with their left eye uh, bruised up, like that. Yeah, okay. that almost looks kind of fake, like it's got like red in it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Makeup or whatnot. But pretty strange. I mean, the eye does look a little bloodshot there. Interesting. Yeah, that, yeah, you're right. This is just him kind of in his, you know, what is it, high fashion wear? I guess that's high fashion shoes. Yeah. All right. What's but this? this is a blind item from Crazy Days and Nights that says that he's under psychiatric care. Okay, yeah, this is uh, January. Oh, so yeah. somebody asked, where is Kanye now? Well, this might answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hopefully he's not getting the total drugged out care, you know? I don't know. Oh, yeah, let me read this real quick for the audio listeners. It says here, the rapper has been receiving full-time mental care for a little more than the past week. Arrangements have been made to keep things a secret, as secret as possible. Um, and prevent them from becoming public for the time being. He has a long way to go, and he can retrieve his phones and leave his phone and leave at any time. So things are still pretty touch and go. Sounds like PR to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, 
interesting. And this is like the other thing where he kind of knows the alien kind of demon connection, right? So he did that E.T. song with Katy Perry, right? Yeah. But, you know, I'm a red-headed alien. He kind of knows all So she's dressed up as the for the video. Right. Isn't this the one kind of rap over? Isn't this the one where she talked about having sex with a alien? Yeah, she's sex with an alien, yeah. All an angel. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, very right. evil. This was very recent. I think this was when um, LeBron scored, outscored uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Jay Z is wearing this. This is Black Magic. So yeah. interesting people, word play. People, people are just not hiding it anymore. You know? Yeah, they're not hiding it. Yeah. I mean, even if this is a double entendre or whatever, uh, <laughs> the Black Magic is plain. It's just you, you can't, you can't mistake what he's trying to say there yeah he can deny it's a he can credibly deny it too oh yeah i'm just talking about something else too right yeah there's a sign of silence by Mm jay-z that's a known gesture yeah yeah i'm sorry by kanye sorry kanye yeah there's a bunch of uh pictures out there uh about the, the the silence symbolism uh, a lot of celebrities are doing it in their photo shoots. And, you know, sometimes it's the artist that's doing the shoot that tells them to do it. But other right. times, they're very involved. <laughs> yeah. It's a sign of initiation. When you get initiated, you learn some of these gestures. You're also told to be quiet, you know? Yeah. And this is a really telling thing about uh, Kanye is that he's with another kind of lead occultist. Uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky. Okay. That's him. Yeah. So them together. And I think they worked together on a video because I think this meeting was done. Well, if you go to the next slide. So I think the video producer is there in the green. His name is Spike Jones, or that's his stage name. I don't know who the other characters are, right. but they're with Jodorowsky, who is a total alchemist. Uh, nose of Crowley and drinks blood, which we're going to go over here in a second. Okay. Or has drank human blood. And I think some of the imagery that Kanye has came from Yodorowsky's Holy Mountain, things like this. Uh, okay. This kind of symbolism comes from Yodorowsky. That makes sense. Um, and even in his um, his gospel, wait, what, what do you call him? Anyways, church, church events on his um, on his tour, they they had symbolism there that people didn't catch on. Like this thing right here, he turned that on its head, and it's, and it's, it would be the light shining down on the pyramid. Right. And then I can read this. This is uh, this is something excerpt from my book, Children of the Beast. But Yodorowsky said, "I know the taste of blood. I've eaten blood, human blood." By the time I decided to drink it, the blood had coagulated. I put my hand in the glass, scooped out the red gelatine, and devoured it. At first it made me sick, nauseous, but almost immediately I felt an exquisite pleasure. It was the finest food in my mouth had ever been fed. Delicate, velvety, delicious. The next morning I woke up with the smoothest complexion. Wow. And that's actually a rumor of Kardashian, too. Doesn't she supposedly put, like, chilled child, child's blood on her face? Same thing with Abramovich. It's crazy. There was a movie that came out <clears throat> from, with the guy that played um, um, uh, Winter Soldier. I can't remember his name, but um, it, it, the movie was called Fresh, and it was about pretty much a, an elite circle of cannibals, <laughs> and they preferred women um, for whatever reason. But one of the scenes, the person that was abducted started to become friends with, not friends, but you know, the, the guy um, that's the, the, the villain. And he had her taste the meat. And the way that the director and the visual effects people put it was like, it was like this, this euphoric feeling from eating human flesh. And, um, uh, and he was like, it's the best I, I've ever, the best meat I've ever eaten. So here, this is like <laughs> lining up with that movie. You know? Wow, wow. So it's like yeah. human cannibalism. It has Sebastian Stan in it, right? Yeah, Sebastian Maybe Stan. That's his name. Yeah. The movie's called Fresh for those that want to. I mean, I don't recommend the movie, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, it's strange themes, strange days. Yeah. All right. So this is oh. a depiction of alchemy, right? White and black opposites. Yeah. Yeah. So Fusion alchemy. of opposites, um, which is this uh, the the um, the upside down pyramid and the right side is it's a fusion of opposites and you'll find this all over the place in the occult um yeah going to the yin and the yang um same thing um it it has to do with um the law of attraction um magic period uh, the, the Tao, the chi all these the different uh things i can i can uh come up with um to tell you uh like even um uh, was I said law of attraction the 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 secret and other names out there it, this all aligns with it white magic black yes, magic does. yeah and you'll see this often if you kind of keep aware you'll see people wear this type of thing or it depicted in fa high fashion even Balenciaga had that black white motif right yeah uh the the movie not the movie the commercial with um Celine Dion it was a black and white theme right that's right that's right. And for those that don't know, she did a, a commercial where they had these gender neutral babies and, and whatnot, and the authorities were running her down. Uh, but she's into this stuff too. More than you would think. Yeah, and this is yeah. like the weird pyramid in the background with a circle and Kanye being carried by a bunch of women or something i don't know i don't know i don't know what the full they really wanted to be nudity but they had to wear clothes tone it down right <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you know th this this uh idea of nudity and sex is, is very prevalent in any cult you go to i don't care if it's jehovah witness or something else it's there all the time okay the the, the switzerland uh tunnel switzerland tunnel Right. For that big occult ceremony, they had uh, semi-naked people there. And then they had a goat come out and all this stuff. So, you know. Here it goes again. Okay, that's why it's 100 and something. All right, so let's go down. Yeah, you can go to the next one. Uh, all right, so the same, same thing. Yeah. Uh, Egyptian uh, Horus. Uh, the red is the red is a very big symbol too, and people be like, "Oh, you're reaching." Okay, when you study the, the color red in these occult circles, it's not a joke. Yeah, and then this is just Yodorovsky making all the standard hand gestures that we've already gone through. It's got like mm -hmm. the triangle. Um, mm -hmm. we can go to the next one. What's he got? Eye, you know, it's got one eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eye in the tri same gesture that uh, Kanye was making right, actually. Right. Eye in the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. These are not by mistake. Silence. This is, I think, the 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 heart of Horus or something like that, or the. Somebody was telling me about it. It's something like when you're lying on your back, you do this hand sign. Yeah. Hey, if, you, if you're listening on the audio podcast, you want to come back to the video so you can see all these photos. This is like the Cornuto. He's kind of a sinister guy. He's been around a long time. Yeah. Isn't that the Horn of Mendes or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And this is him as the alchemist, right? So he's got the two goats. He's got the white hat, the white cold clothing. And then uh, he's got the, I forgot what that, it's like the, it's used for like personality uh, analysis. He's got that kind of chain around his neck. Yeah. With the and medallion. The, yeah. And the, uh, he looks cool. like Gandalf, right? Gandalf, and, right. And here, here's here's the thing about um, Gandalf. He went from gray to white, and the white symbolism means like you've ascended uh, right. to a higher level. So, right. same thing happened with Ray Skywalker. Oh, uh, interesting. And, she came back Star white. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. And then this is Yodorowsky officiating Marilyn Manson's wedding. So you see the connection between Manson, Yodorowsky, and Kanye. Right, right. It's really yeah. incredible. Definitely. Oh, yeah. 
Can't deny it. Nope. Uh, single lie again, another gesture. Yeah. Uh, Yodorowsky with Marilyn Manson throwing down tarot cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And then I think the last one is, yeah, that's the officiating the wedding, too. Manson, Yodorowsky. Oh, so speaking of purple, remember when Hillary Clinton came out with purple after she lost? It was, a, it was symbolism. Uh, I can't remember what it means, man. It's not royalty. It's something that has to do with their little cult. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know. Yeah. Nothing would surprise me with her either. So. Right. And then the next last one, the last slide I have is a depiction of Yodorowsky's library with just tons of Crowley stuff in it. Okay. That's that's the Equinox, but if you look at the shelf even below that, it's like all of Crowley's books. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I in the Triangle, Gems from the Equinox, Oama, it's all there. Seven, seven, yeah. seven. It's all Crowley. So he's familiar with all that stuff. So what he's do you think? What do you just 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 a real quick um, rabbit trail? What do you think about Michael Jackson wearing the seven seven seven? He knows that too. Yeah, he knows okay. that. Okay. Yeah, he knows the seven seven seven. I think it's at the end of uh, Thriller. There's like the um, obelisk in the at the end. So I think he knows a lot of stuff. I think that or somebody around him knew right. knew some of the occult stuff. Yeah, and he read a lot. And he was for, he was a Jehovah Witness. Then he turned into a Muslim before he died. Uh, Anyone that doesn't believe me, you can look it up. It's public knowledge. Um, all right, but so that's that, it. I don't know if you want to go over any of the videos. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, that's the slides. Okay. Yeah, let's let's um go over some of the videos. Um, give me a second here. Let me pull this down. Um, stop sharing. But I think that the takeaway is that he was at one point connected, maybe even still to this day. But he knows he's been through that. That there was a phase in his life where he clearly knew. People in the occult, knew of the occult, you know. How right. much he knows about Yodorowsky is another question, but he has to know Man Manson stuff. He's I mean, he's just in he's just integrated in Abramovich. He's mentioned Abramovich. So yeah. maybe he has a lot to repent for. I don't know. I mean hanging out with those people. Right. And so we we come full circle before we go to the videos here with um Tulsi Gabbard doing the same symbolism. It can't be denied. It's, she's not a part of Rock Nation, <laughs> you know? So we, you can't deny uh, that uh, this is not um, coincidence, you know? Right. And she's into earth worship. Uh, I think she's from Hawaii or something like that. Hawaii, but I think she was like the first uh, elected Hindu to Congress. Like, yeah, there we go. Like she's not yeah. Western, any Western ideas. Yeah. Right. So whether it's the swastika or this... And, you know, I forgot the, the original name of that symbol, man. Um, straight out of Hinduism that they call the swastika now. You know, Hitler adopted that stuff from these ancient mystics. That's right. All right, so let's go to this. In, oh, hold on. Give me a second here. Uh, In History X, like my head was on the side of the curve. And MK this is where he's talking about. Pasternak. It was like American History X. Like my head was on the side of the curve, and the exact people that I called out kicked my head. We found out that my trainer was an MK Ultra uh, Canadian uh, he intelligence. Was a, yeah. He worked in the defense research and uh, development uh, in the Canadian military, essentially working on psyops in this the guy? Canadian military. This is Harley <laughs> Pasternak. Yeah, what I'm saying is look, they took it too far. It was like Mm -hmm. So that was one, yeah. Yeah, we got a. This is him at Balenciaga, yeah. Big side of mass, okay? Right, it's literally like at a Balenciaga yeah. show with all that crazy stuff. Yeah. So that was another one. And this is him kind of. I think the next one is him just emitting a lot of stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot what this is. Go no, to taking those flights. No, it's scary. They can't control you. They can't. They, they, they try to suppress you. But. That's how they try to categorize. They can't control. Me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. You not see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. And on you. You know what I'm saying? And just for minutes of fair time, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm taking no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. Let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. Right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. Michael too. Jordan. What about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still. Forbes, who hate me, right, had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. That's more important than speaking in life. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. I can't send none of y'all meat mills, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy. That never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you want to talk about? I don't that? know if that's the same one. I don't know. It just like his his worldview and his mom right. got sacrificed. I don't know if that happened, but right. a lot of strange deaths around some of these people. So, right, definitely. Uh, she went in for a, I think a, some sort of um, gastric bypass or something like that. And she ended up dead, so. Yeah, it's just like, what was her name? It was uh, Joan Rivers went in for some uh, elementary procedure and then came out dead, you know? Right, and that's after she outed Obama as a, Obama, yeah. as a um, what do you call it, tranny? Tranny, and she was talking a lot of stuff. And they, uh, they found out that it was a totally unnecessary procedure they did on her without authorization, too. Mm -hmm. wow. Like, there was no prior consent. They yeah. just said, oh, let's do this thing on her throat. Let's get a biopsy or something, and it killed her. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. I'm in here. Well, that may be the same one. I think yes, that's the same one. one. So sorry. Let me just get if you haven't spoken to me in years. <laughs> oh, let me pause this for a second. So Owen Benjamin, he's also a big uh, anti-Semitic. Um, he he's, he's talked all kinds of stuff about yeah. that. So. He, he went off the rails a few years ago. But um, yeah, let's play it. Put the crazy the narrative out there. My Jewish trainer, Harley Pashenak, put it out when I went to the hospital, put it in the press. I know. I know exactly how that feels. When I quit my show, they said I was crazy. Who was crazy mm -hmm. about it? I just didn't want to do it anymore. Spoken to him in years, but he's out of his fucking mind. Now. If you haven't spoken to me in years, why am I still on your mind? And why do you say I'm out of mind? Because I don't trade my word or my morality for money. Because I don't want to scribble on my arms and inject steroids into my dick. Because oh. I don't want to live a fake life and be approved by... Okay, maybe, maybe let's go on to the next one. Yeah, sorry for the extra uh, time. I, I think that point was just like they call people crazy when things go wrong. They're trying to... Uh, right. Uh, solely their reputation. Kanye West. Yeah. Here's the God thing. Anytime yeah. somebody starts speaking some sort of truth, they label them as crazy or conspiracy yeah. theorists or whatever. Let me see here. The urine stream rap star Illuminati wannabe wankster says he's a god. He performed his new song titled I Am God at the Governor's Ball last night in New York City, a big music festival, which, as you can see from some of the fan footage, was very well received by the psychologically sedated slaves who love getting their ego stroked by the urine stream music. Uh, this Kanye West, of course, the same clown who knocked up the um, Antichrist of entertainment, Kim, the Baphomet-worshipping, blood-bathing Countess Kardashian, Kanye West, the same Illuminati wankster who came on the scene with his single Jesus Walks, posing as a big Christian in order to dupe much of the audience into supporting him. 
Kanye West, the same clown who debuted his song uh, against materialism, New Slaves, on Saturday Night Live, um, railing against materialism while wearing a, I don't know, what is this, a $20,000 gold chain? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Let's rap a song against materialism and wear a $20,000 gold chain. Yes. Can go to the next I, one. I'm yeah, aware. That's uh, Mark Dice. Right, 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 yeah. Never be a I know that this will never happen again in history. There will never be a situation where people end a multi billion dollar deal off of a tweet. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I would like to thank everyone that was involved with this negotiation. Thank God no one was hurt in the process. And I feel free. So what's he saying? What he's saying there is that those tweets got him out of contracts he didn't want to be in. Yeah. So yeah. whether that's true or not, I don't know. Maybe he's playing it a different way, but it is interesting. Right. You can just say one anti-Semitic tweet, and everybody will drop you like a brick. Right. 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 Uh -huh. Institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to Zombieland forever. Play date with the kids. Yeah, I just already read this. Yeah. But isn't it crazy that a personal trainer can openly threaten to institutionalize a major celebrity? Well, here's where the whole thing gets even creepier. See, Harley isn't just a personal trainer. According to one viral Twitter thread, he also used to work for the Department of National Defense with the Canadian government and was employed by a military facility that conducts research into different... What's interesting is that Kanye also recently exposed celebrity personal trainer Harley Pasternak for threatening to institutionalize him. And a few years back, Harley bragged about designing a home gym for Beyonce and Jay-Z. On November 4th, Kanye shared disturbing texts he received from Harley. And in one of the texts, Harley told Kanye he had to sit down with him and have a conversation, or he'd send him to a mental institution where he'd never be able to see his kids unsupervised. Harley wrote, the second option, I have you institutionalized. Yeah, and it is interesting. Like, how can a personal trainer have that? I don't even know if a psychologist can do this, that maybe a psychiatrist, but is this guy a psychiatrist or is he a personal trainer? How does he have that much authority? I don't It's a good right, question. Right, right. Yeah, it's all... <sighs> Give me a second here. Let me. Yeah, very odd. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'll, I hope you guys um <laughs> enjoyed this little slideshow we we just did. Uh, somebody said in the comments that um Hitler got the swastika from a church he went to. Yeah, but even even if he did, the symbolism still comes from the ancient East. It comes from um the Hinduism, Buddhism, and all these isms over there. So it's not it's not from the church. It's not from Germany. It goes way back to again Hinduism. Okay, I, I forgot what the sign is about. Something with the elements or whatnot. It's like a sun symbol, and it's also like a um, reincarnation symbol too. That's oh yeah, my yeah. Understanding. yeah. But yeah. it just because it was, the Germans were so dark, it like now has become associated with national social socialism but you can go back and go to tibet and there's like you know tibet you can see this swastika people get all bent out of shape yeah but it really does come from there the germans looked back to the east they always thought they were Aryans, right so they thought they came from the caucasus or iran or that whole central central asian area so that's probably why they had that whole look like they were totally like race obsessed yeah right right exactly and and hitler had his whole list of who he wants to get rid of and at first it was the jews and then it was the blacks and on and on and on until he cleared the planet of the unpure uh so-called races you know but anyway that's another show they, they i mean they yeah it is because it wasn't just i mean the jews but they when they invaded poland they got rid of the entire intellectual top of that whole country anybody who could resist they killed and then he also had, Hitler also had an extermination order against the Russians. Yeah. Like he just said, exterminate. It doesn't matter. Get rid of them because they're on our land. So that's why that, that, that's why those fights were so ferocious is the, the Nazis 
it wasn't like normal warfare. It was about killing. It was about exterminating. Really ugly. Yeah, exactly. And and Hitler got his eugenics program from studying our eugenics program and another one in Europe. So um, <laughs> a lot of his stuff learned. There was a guy, I think it was Chamberlain or something. It was some book that like made its way back to Germany. Mm -hmm. It was tied in with uh, Darwinism. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's another show. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the swastika did not was not invented, and actually, it was uh, it was a symbol that was used in Germany. So like you can see it in World War One mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it didn't just kind of surface in the uh, my understanding is it didn't just surface with the Nazi Party. It was around in kind of German culture, and then they were like, "Hey, let's do this." But Right, absolutely. Um, let me see here if anybody uh, said anything for you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. There's some crazy comments as well. They're saying Joe, Joan Rizvers is dead. Uh, can, you, can you prove that? She passed away. Yeah, I can prove that. But the X across the cart, I think that's right. That's the raising of Osiris. And I think it's done uh, like lying on your back or something like that. So. He knows all that stuff. Yeah, um, Yodorowsky does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, not. I don't see. I don't see any questions in here. Um, guys, please hit the like button and um, share the video um, to get this message out. Um, so we we covered Kanye in the last Balenciaga video. So if you watch that and then watch this, uh, it'll all it'll all so the things that we didn't cover now. Like is he a true Christian or not? Like we covered that in the last video. So you want to go back there. And um, listen, the, 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 the receipts say he's not a Christian, you know, uh, the activities that he, he, he does with Satan is still to this day um, on his albums and whatnot. How can you mix water with oil? God said you can't be a friend of the world and, um, and, you know, be a friend with him. You know, it's like, come on, there has to be a separation between darkness and light. And you can't be, I don't care. If people want to say, well, what if he's trying to reach them with the gospel? He doesn't have to put them on his album. <laughs> like, like, come on, let's let's use critical thinking and common sense here. Um, this is not who we think it is. And um, even though he's put out some okay songs uh, that are, you know, Christian based, it doesn't mean that he's a true Christian. There's a lot of Christian artists that are not, that are atheists and other things. Okay, sure. so uh, let's not just feed into what we what we think through our emotions or our empathy or whatnot um you know like i said he's one of the biggest artists hip-hop artists that has ever um hit the stage and he's just at this point in his career now where he's trying to call out this faction with which which is in the industry unfortunately some of them are you know jews but um you, you don't you don't blanket a whole civilization a whole people group and and say this or that and then you know try to backtrack later um when he fits i mean he has jewish friends and whatnot but still you you it's like he's not thinking about what he's saying or it's or it's deliberate whatever it is it, it's wrong so um you know just remember that and uh thank you guys for joining us anything you want to wrap up with um no it's just uh great to be with you again and uh would second what you said and uh People can go back and watch our Balenciaga on, I think it's on my Rockfin, or it's probably on this channel too, on uh, Don't Let Them Burn. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's great to be with you again, Chris. Thanks. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Somebody had a question, but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's something we can answer right now. It says, um, uh, what you guys think about the McDonald's hamburger meat having Jewish baby body parts, meat and such? I, I, I've heard that stuff, but I can't prove that, you know, it's, it's, it's that's far out there. Um, you can't prove that stuff. Um, and either way, McDonald's food is GMO anyway, so you shouldn't be eating it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you probably should avoid it altogether. You don't know what kind of stuff they put in there, what they're allowed to put in there. A lot of that stuff is irradiated, too. So right. It's not right. good for your health. Stay away. Yeah. Cook absolutely. it home. It's much better, much better for you. Absolutely. So thank you guys for joining us. Um um, don't forget to check out our website. And, um, you know, if you if you haven't um, come to Jesus, he found you. You didn't find him because he's looking, he's searching and, and he's going to call you out of this world. And, um, you know, we're born in sin and he came, died on the cross, um, became one of us, by the way, 
and died on the cross and resurrected on the third day. And um, we need, uh, a re it was a rescue plan to save us from the consequences of sin, which is death and hell, right? And so if you believe that and you, you search, you call out to Jesus, he will answer you and uh, you need to be born. What's, you, what's unique about what sets the Lord apart in many, many ways, but also that he suffered and was tempted like us. So yes. He knows our temptations and our suffering too. Absolutely. So he can relate to it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, hey, Christians, don't let them burn. You need to be spreading the gospel. You can use this, even this right here, this information uh, to spark conversation to reach people. So there we are. So this is Chris from Don't Let Them Burn and William Ramsen. And we, we will be back with something special soon. And, um, you know, again, hit the like button and share. Don't let them burn. Amen.